unfortunately it's a little complicated, so I'm going to make a video to show you how to do this. The first thing you want to do is create a new project so that you can um, work in this cleaner space because um, this is going to involve some exporting. Um, so make a new project, title it uh, Brady Bunch or Test or Last Shot, whatever you want to call it. The next thing you're going to do is go to Backgrounds, which is at the top of your media window. Um, and you know, you can really choose any background. I'm going to choose black because I think that makes the most sense. And then make your um, background however long this segment of the video is going to be. So for this, I'm just going to make it five seconds if I can pull it out. <laughs> um, so I'm going to extend it by pulling out the end for five seconds. So now I will always have a black background and I am going to use a video project from Michelle or something. We don't have a ton of videos on this computer so forgive me for the videos that I have access to. Well, yeah. So then I'm going to get my first clip and again it's going to be five seconds long which is the length that my background is. So now what I'm going to do is go into my video editing window and go to video overlay options. Here I'm going to change it from cutaway to picture in picture. As you can see this already makes it smaller. Um, and so what this allows you to do is to adjust the size of your video. Now after this step you're going to have to export this video and repeat this process but using this as a basically. Um, so make sure that you leave room for your other videos. For this demonstration I'm just going to try and do a four video window. You might want to do more than that so we'll see. Um, so once that's done I'm like cool looks good. I'm going to export it um, into my feeder. So now you have exported um, your video into the theater. What I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to drag and drop it onto my desktop. Um, that's just easier for me personally. So it's over here in the corner and I'm going to delete what I did personally is I deleted all the work that I had to make test one. And now I am going to um, replace that work in the timeline with the first video. So then I'm going to go back to my media and I'm going to look for um, a shot that is, you know, the same length that I want to put over it. Oh, wonderful. Look at that. So then I'm going to actually repeat the same exact steps that I just did. So I'm going to change my video overlay settings to picture in a picture and I'm going to try and line up the videos so that they are the same size. This is the most difficult part. Um, we can come up with some strat strategies so that you guys can make your videos look awesome. So here are the videos looking pretty good. I'm now going to export it and this time I'm actually going to show you how to export it um, onto your desktop directly. So I'm going to name this test2 and I'm going to make sure my resolution is pretty high. It could be 720. You might want to export it at 1080. That's what we've been using to film our videos. We're going to click Next. And we're going to save it onto the desktop. So for the following, um, the next two videos that I'm going to add and forever, for however many videos you will add to create your Brady Bunch effect, you are going to repeat these same steps over and over. So I'm going to speed through that part, but make sure you stick around to the end so that you can hear how to get this video into your actual uh, documentary or video project.
So now you have all of your videos, and mine looks a little crazy because they're not all the same size. I can definitely help you guys uh, make sure that they are the same size. So let's just play part of this. They're all moving. Looks pretty good. Um, so now what you are going to do to complete your step and put this into your videos about your community program is you are going to export this video onto the desktop, right? And then you are going to put it at wherever in your um, video you need it to go. So you can name it test final, um, save it onto the desktop, and then you are going to do the same steps that you have already been doing, and you are going to drag it into your timeline wherever you want it to go. So then you have a beautiful final um, image.